for those who don't know you in the room, I've, I've been told that, that legend is the best way to describe you. <laughs> Jose came to me and said, let's dance together. It really was with a very clear perspective of let's, come on, let's two 40 year old men get back into a space where we are able, we are as artists, we know who we are. Performance tonight was absolutely beautiful. It was just mesmerizing, stunning. Beautiful show. Really beautiful. I absolutely love flamenco and katak dance and the way that they kind of moved between the two movements and mixed in contemporary and I was seeing like all sorts of different styles. First half was about having the pure traditional forms and then the second half we were really trying to work with what we brought in and then bring it into a contemporary context. The show is a contemporary dance piece which is just fabulous. Uh, the, the way it blends so beautifully there's stuff happening, there's choreographed stuff. And to come and see a piece like this at Fairfield Halls is just a treat. Really a pleasure to share, be here in Fairfield Hall. You know, we've been now for two weeks and it's been yeah, amazing with that. Walking into this space, you know, it's, I would say it's as nice as a venue on the South Bank and the Central London. Um, it's got that kind of vibe of like, looking after your people and like a, a kind of abundant vibe to it. I'm currently sitting in this amazing, I'm going to call it the VIP lounge. <laughs> Beautiful sofas and decor and yeah, I'm really excited for Croydon. I think this is what Croydon needs. To live in Croydon and to be able to see a work that usually gets seen at Sadler's Wells or South Bank here in Croydon at Fairfield Halls. What better can one ask? This is fabulous. There are so many talented artists in this area and I feel like this is a hub, this is the potential to create something here in Croydon instead of us all having to go outside and kind of starting to, to nurture the talent that's already existing in this area.